It's important to look good, but it's just as important to sound good. Believe it or not, sounding good can dramatically influence people's perspective of you, and it can make you significantly more attractive. Take Captain Atlanta, for example. One of the first things that people notice about him is his voice. Oh, D Block, this is D Block, where I'm, where I'm standing there right here. What? Man, bird. Listen, half time when you, uh. Having a low, monotone voice just naturally comes off as more masculine and dominant. If you're a guy with a high pitched voice or someone that just doesn't love the way their voice sounds, you've probably wished plenty of times for a different one. Maybe you already have a pretty solid voice, but you want to make it deeper, more attractive, or even more masculine. Then you clicked on the right video, because in this video, I'll be teaching you some tips and tricks to achieve a fuller, deeper, and more seductive voice that will in turn overall make you more attractive. As black men, we're perceived as powerful, masculine, and dominant men. And because of this, it's important to have a rich, full, and dominant voice. A voice that demands respect. A strong, commanding, and trustworthy voice that can even sometimes be intimidating to others. You can actually train your voice and your vocal muscles by doing just a few exercises. Simply by doing these exercises, you can make your voice lower and deeper. Tip 1. Stand tall. Stand up straight with your neck, shoulders, and back aligned. Then slightly puff out your chest. By having proper posture, it allows you to access your deeper, fuller voice from within. A lot of us make the mistake of speaking with bad posture which closes off your vocal tract and reduces respiratory support, making your voice have a slightly higher pitch. So by simply practicing proper posture, it'll allow you to already have a bit of a deeper voice. So that whole say it with your chest meme is actually true. Say it with your chest. Oh. Tip two, breathe through your belly. Do me a favor, close your eyes. Now breathe in and breathe out. If you notice that your shoulders are going up and down, that means that you're breathing through your chest and not your belly. While it is still an effective way of filling your lungs with air, it isn't the best as this puts pressure on your upper body, your neck, as well as even your voice and vocal cords. Instead of doing this, breathe with your diaphragm or your belly. While you breathe in, try to breathe through your core and make your diaphragm do the work instead of your chest. Your stomach should expand while your shoulders sit still. By simply practicing this exercise and making this simple change, it should have a significant impact on the tone of your voice. By breathing through your diaphragm, it will help you to access a deeper vocal pitch. This breathing technique lets your diaphragm reach its lowest position, which helps you to slow down your vocal cords frequency. So practice by standing up straight, breathing in deep through your nose, and feeling your ribs expand. Tip 3. Loosen your vocal cords. Your vocal pitch is determined by how much your vocal cords vibrate. Low frequency vibrations mean a deeper voice. So you should practice relaxing your throat and loosening up your vocal cords for a deeper, lower voice. A great way to do this is by first strengthening your neck muscles. Stronger neck muscles are less likely to tighten up and cause voice cracks. A great exercise to strengthen your neck is neck crunches. You can lay down on a flat surface or the floor and slowly try to bring your neck as far past your shoulders as you possibly can while tucking in your chin. It's almost like doing a sit up, but with your neck. Do two sets of 25 reps of neck crunches. As your neck muscles get stronger, you'll start to see a significant difference in the tone of your voice. Tip 4. Project your voice. Try speaking in front of a mirror. Stand up straight and tall with proper posture and breathe in through your belly. Practice saying your name or reading a passage from a book or a newspaper. Consider the volume, the tone, and the pitch of your voice. Then try relaxing your neck and your vocal cords while projecting your voice out in front of you. Your aim should be for distance, clarity, and depth. Take some time to adjust and practice projecting your voice in the mirror. Pay attention to the way that you sound and make adjustments if needed. 
Doing this will help you to have a natural, more fuller voice without it sounding strange or even forced. Tip 5. Be monotone. There's a lot of actors from Vin Diesel all the way to Morgan Freeman that are perceived as more masculine because of their voice. And a constant trend that you'll find in almost all of them is that they all use monotony in their speech. Having a more relaxed monotone voice can make your voice appear to sound deeper even if it's just average. When you speak in a monotone voice you sound more masculine and more attractive. This tricks people into believing that your voice is deeper than it actually is. By slowing down your speech and not putting emphasis or exaggeration in it, it'll help your voice to sound more monotone and masculine. Last tip 6. Breathe through your nose when you're speaking. A lot of us oftentimes make the mistake of breathing through our mouths when speaking. Instead, make the conscious effort to avoid breathing in through your mouth and alternatively continuously breathe through your nose. By breathing through your mouth when you speak, it makes your voice have a higher pitch. So keep your neck muscles relaxed while speaking and breathe through your nose. Make sure to record your voice before these exercises and then record your voice after. After just a bit of practice, I'm confident that you'll have a deeper, fuller, richer voice in no time and you'll sound a lot more masculine and attractive. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful at all, go ahead and hit the like button. If you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you can continue to see our videos and get your weekly dose of betterness. And if you super enjoyed the video, leave a super thanks. It's like leaving a little tip and it directly helps out the channel. And remember, with every one of our videos you watch, you take one step closer to becoming an even better version of yourself. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay smooth, like butter.